Okay, so we're down on the sand flats here. Let's see if we can't catch ourselves some lunch. What we're chasing is some whining. A little surface popper. Prawn imitation. Cheers. Well, it's a hot, steamy day here today. Got here about 12 o'clock, put in, came down, chucked my gear up into the little campsite here, up in the nice little embankment. Unfortunately, there's a whole lot of ski boats here. There was actually a family parked here as well, doing a bit of uh, kneeboarding and skiing and so forth. So I chucked all the gear up. Went down river, tried to catch some fish. There is fish everywhere, but for some reason, they're not taking what I want to offer. So, I've decided to come back now. It's the middle of the afternoon, three o'clock. Have a cold beer. Got a lovely breeze coming into my back. I'll set the tent up behind me here. There's a nice shady spot in there. Tucked in behind the trees. And uh, yeah, set up camp while I'm uh, waiting for the heat of the afternoon to go away and for the fish to come back on the bite. Ten to seven daylight savings time. Setting back up river against the wind. See if he can catch some fish for dinner. Plan is to get up around the corner here a bit further and come back with the wind and with the river and cast into the banks. See if we can't pull ourselves up something out. Pretty pretty dry afternoon I have to say. The place is absolutely riddled with fish, but nothing's biting. Good news is all the boats are going home. The only boats out here now are fishermen, which is great. A few tinnies out in the water. Always good to see the boys out trying to catch a few. Breeze is lovely, keeping the humidity down. We'll see how we get on. Looks like we're onto something here, but it doesn't feel very big. Let's have a look. Mind you, we don't need a huge fish for dinner.
Yeah, 24 centimetres. Just too small, unfortunately. Beautiful evening here on the river tonight. Cranks is not a bad second choice. Fish would have been better. I had a particular recipe I wanted to try tonight, which is raw fish cooked in lemon and lime juice and so forth, but they can wait to either lunch tomorrow or another day. Really nice breeze keeping it lovely and cool now, so I'm gonna have this with a beer. And then uh, we'll get the fire going and we'll have a cup of tea later on. Can't beat a uh, campfire at a beach, that's for sure. Luckily it's turned out to be a lovely cool evening. There's a nice breeze coming in off the ocean. That's just coming in behind me here, which is just making it absolutely beautiful. Keeping all the moisture out of the air, which is nice. It makes it cool enough to have a fire, which is always a bonus. The old bush TV, you can't beat it. So the plan was tonight for dinner was to have fish um, cooked in lemon juice and lime juice and other ingredients and you cook that up in the uh, in the eskin that it, the soak essentially and it cooks the actual fish wool um, which is really nice but I wasn't able to do that obviously so the plan is tomorrow morning the tide comes in uh, in the morning up till about lunchtime's high tide so get out early as always try and get some fish um, or one decent sized fish the fish I'm targeting this weekend are actually whiting, which are beautiful sweet fish, a smaller one but beautiful to eat, or a um, mangrove jack. And mangrove jack are the number one eating estuary fish, but because of that they're quite popular with fishermen. So the um, plan is to head back down towards the mouth tomorrow morning, come back in with the incoming tide as it pushes back up the river, and see what we can catch ourselves and hopefully we'll be able to have that recipe for lunch tomorrow, but as always cup of tea and off to bed for me. Well the tide's working to my advantage this morning, it's just on its way in now, heading out towards the mouth of the river. As usual I've got a little trolling out the back to see if we can pick something on the way out. And hopefully as I said last night we'll get ourselves some either whiting some nice mangrove jack. Beautiful morning on the river here this morning. I can already see a family ahead of me here having a swim. So I'm going to enjoy this morning and fingers crossed we'll get some lunch. I'm hoping you'll be able to see this on the camera. There's some beautiful dolphins just turned up. Just going down the river here. Here they are. Cool as that. Talking about having this fishing rod holder, as you can see, the change in the lures action, even to the point where you get a tiny little flathead like that. Stitched up. All still. 
which is brilliant. I uh, had a situation before when I was just had it lying at the back of the canoe that it would just uh, twist up if you got something like seaweed caught on it or any sort of weed in a lake and so forth. It just twist around like that and you have a huge big twisted line. So it's great now that I can just see what's going on straight away and deal with it and not have that issue. Another undersized flathead, unfortunately. I even need that. In. Not too small. Well, another unsuccessful mission. Two undersized flathead. Nothing of size yet. Head back to camp, make a coffee. Tents are already packed up, so just got to chuck everything into the canoe. We might head over the other side of the river here to the uh, mangroves. Have a look along there in the shadows on the way back. And see how we get on. There's probably 30 boats out in the river this morning and it's now picking up even more so. There's just skiers and jet skis and everything. It's an absolute menagerie. So the plan is throw everything in the canoe, head back down towards the ramp and as I said, go over to the far side in the shadows and the um, mangroves there and we'll see if we can catch anything for lunch there. But yeah, very, very surprising, I must admit. I thought I would pick up something today. A couple of small flatheads, two or three. Not really what I was after. But um, I could see a lot of whiting in the water, but they're only 6 inch, 150 mil, little tiny guys. And from what I was talking to other fishermen, they're catching that similar size. So unfortunately, it looks like it's been overfished, this fishery now. But that's okay. We'll pack up and uh, head down and see if we can find something in the mangroves. Well, unfortunately, this trip was a bust as far as catching dinner or lunch. No joy at all. Decided to uh, just head back to the car and take off. It's far too hot. It's 34 degrees Celsius. We're pretty damn humid. It's no use trying to catch fish in the middle of the day. So we will call it quits. Still great to get out in the water, don't get me wrong, but I am disappointed. It was a, a trip that I've been looking forward to repeating. I caught fish here last time, so that's all good. I'll wrap it up here and I'll see you guys in a fortnight's time. Bye for now.